And now the first speaker, Patrick Hannan, the president of World DAB. Okay, uh, thanks, Candice, um, and welcome to World DAB Automotive Event 2023. And thank you, Sabil, for helping to provide such a fantastic venue. Um, it's a real pleasure and an honour to be here. So thank you very much. And also to my fellow speakers on the panel, I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Um, I think it might get quite warm today, so I'm going to try and keep this fresh and interesting. Um, uh, so I'll start, and um, hopefully this will all be over in about 10 minutes. Uh, so the title of the presentation is DAB Plus in Cars Reaching Maturity. So why do I say reaching maturity? Well, bottom line is this. DAB Plus is now a standard feature in European cars. In 2022, last year, 96% of new cars sold in, within the European Union came with DAB+, 96%. Another way of putting that is that there was 10 million new vehicles on the road with DAB+, and in 2023, this year, we're likely to be closer to 12 million. So this is completely changing the landscape. And when I say it's changing the landscape, these are the listening figures uh, for, uh, from, from the UK. Uh, from the first quarter of 2023. And for the first time, DAB is accounting for, for more than 50% more than of all list, radio listening in cars, more than 50%. FM is 43%. Interestingly, online is 6%. Uh, and I say interestingly because last year it was 7%. So it's actually declined year on year. And this progress in cars is helping to drive the growth of DAB Plus across Europe. So the countries marked in dark blue are the established markets. Countries in green are what we refer to as the emerging markets. And the countries in light blue are the countries that are undertaking trials. And so we can see a gradual, there's a core in the heart of Europe and then a gradual expansion both to the west and to the east. So just to drill down into a few countries, just to give you some headlines. So Germany, Autobahn coverage is 99%, and they sold 2.5 million new cars with DAB Plus last year. In Italy, since January 2020, there's been a law in place that requires all receivers, both automotive and consumer, to be digital. And this is helping, um, this is underpinning an expansion particularly of local services, but also of national services under a new frequency plan that is just being introduced. And then in France, which of course we will be hearing more about, major roads are a critical element of the DAB Plus coverage strategy. Uh, and with, with that coverage in place, then it, it's then going to be possible to launch a national marketing campaign, which we're expecting to launch in the second half of this year. So those are the major markets. But as I, as I said, the fact that radio is all, all new cars is really changing the game for emerging markets. Because suddenly, you know, we've often talked about a chicken and egg situation. We now have a chicken. Possibly it's an egg. But the fact is that cars do have digital radio in them. And this is changing people's attitudes. So I'll just give you some examples. Sweden, seven new national services are currently being advertised. Croatia. Five multiplexes being advertised, one national and four regional. And in the Czech Republic, uh, they're currently consulting on the launch of two national networks and 27 regional ones. So the picture really is changing quite dramatically. And in parallel, World DAB membership is growing, probably at a faster, faster rate than any time in the last 10 years. And, and I say that because since November of last year, so only seven months ago, we've got nine new members, and two of those have joined in the last week. Uh, Gracenote, uh, who are a content solutions provider, and Viaplay, who are a major uh, Scandinavian broadcaster. Uh, we've also got ABC from Australia. Uh, we've got two car manufacturers. Uh, it's, we've now reached 115 members from 34 countries. But why is this important? Well, essentially, it's important because radio plays a key, a key role in the lives of European citizens. 85% of Europeans listen to radio each week. Radio is the medium most trusted by European citizens. 
for 12 years in succession, and 90% of car buyers say broadcast radio should be standard in every vehicle. So that's the starting point for all of these discussions. So from a listener's point of view, most commonly, the, most, the number one benefit is the increased choice. And on average, what we're seeing is seven times as many national services on DAB th that, that are available compared to analog. So there's a complete transformation. But DB also addresses what we refer, refer to as the three E's. This is economics, environment, and emergencies. So let me just say a little bit about each of those. So the first E, economics. The distribution cost per service on DAB typically is 80% lower than it is on FM. 80% lower. So that's for the standard services. But those economics are going to improve even more, even further. Uh, so small scale DAB, which is really just beginning to enter into, into the market. Uh, this is DAB based on open, open software. It's the lowest cost approach to DAB. It's been adopted in UK, Switzerland, Denmark, really as a complement to the traditional model. And it, what it allows is, is small stations to have, find an economically viable way of getting onto DAB. But I think what might be even more interesting is the potential for new countries, lower income countries, to find a low cost way of entering the market of starting with DAB. Uh, so World DAB is undertaking, undertaking research at the moment uh, into this whole topic, and we're expecting to publish uh, a report uh, in time for our uh, summit and General Assembly in November. The second E is, a, is the environment. So DAB Plus consumes significantly less energy than FM, and the BBC study, famous study in 2020, looked at both uh, the reception, both transmitters and receivers, and it found that DAB was 33% more efficient than FM. And in times of environmental um, concerns, that's really, really important. And then the third E is emergencies. The key point here is that DAB Plus is resilient. To be fair, that's true for all of broadcast radio. Um, but the difference with DAB Plus is that you get the text and you get the images. Um, and you know, the bottom line is, compared, is that mobile services in times of emergency, unfortunately, just are not robust. Um, one thing to mention on emergencies is that last year, um, a, an initiative was launched from Germany to try and position DAB Plus as part of the emergency warning, national uh, emergency warning infrastructure. And so it brought that idea to, uh, the world, to World DAB. And the World DAB Technical Committee is currently working on an Etsy specification for emergency warning. Uh, and we're seeing quite a lot of progress on that and more news to follow later this year uh, and probably next year as well. So those are the major benefits. But, and it's great that we've got DAB into the cars, but we have to keep it relevant. And so the question is, how do we do that? Three things I would emphasize. Number one, understand the motorist. Number two, provide a quality experience. And number three, collaborate with partners. To understand the car buyer, World DAB in 2021 commissioned Edison to take a, a, a working with partners, we commissioned Edison to take a, a, a research study into consumer attitudes, motorist attitudes to radio in the car. And that's where, the, you know, and I said at the start, 90% of motorists or car, car buyers expected broadcast in, the, in their broadcast radio in the car. That's where that figure came from. So that was 2021. Later on today, in the final session this afternoon, we will have the latest version, the second round of research uh, from Edison, which has taken a more qualitative view of, of, of consumer attitudes, really understanding how they feel. So that will be an important piece of work later on today. Secondly, provide high quality experience. Very simple message. Um, this will be a key theme of what we'll be hearing about today, but simple navigation, strong visuals, leverage the benefits of hybrid radio. And then collaboration. You know, one of the major benefits of World DAB 
is that it involves stakeholders from across the whole radio ecosystem. And we now have 13 car manufacturers who are members of World DAB, uh, Lotus and uh, General Motors being the most recent to join. And Ford only joined uh, uh, a few months ago. So the fact that they are involved in the organization gives everybody, frankly, gives everybody in this room an, oppor an opportunity to work with them to work out how best to, to produce the best results. So to conclude, three overarching messages. Number one, cars are a major growth driver for DAB Plus across Europe. Number two, DAB Plus brings benefits to listeners, broadcasters, and to car makers. And number three, collaboration across sectors is the key to future success. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you.